Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Jim. I'm the founder of the Vocal Freedom Program here online. A warm welcome to you to this webinar on how to get your voice back. The Vocal Freedom Program, I'm personally very passionate and emotionally involved with because of what it's doing for everyone who are currently going through this horrible vocal condition called spasmodic dysphonia. Our program launched three years ago now. It's amazing how the time is flying, but wow, the remarkable changes that are happening in people's lives because they are getting their voices back. They are healing their emotional selves behind the voice. And it's been such a wonderful journey. Uh, I've been personally enjoying it thoroughly with every member who's joined the program. This webinar, I hope, can help you make up your mind about your personal journey ahead of you to heal your voice, get your voice back. No matter what you've read to what you've been told by the medical communities, friends, colleagues, what you've read on Google, I'm here to tell you that SD is, is curable. Stuttering also is involved in this category, is curable. You don't have to live with it forever. It involves a different approach to the one you've been indoctrinated to believe. And I hope this webinar helps clarify that for you and gives you a clearer pathway to getting your voice back. It's called the Vocal Freedom Program. I look forward to sharing this webinar with you. Let's get into it. All right, let's begin with this slide. What is spasmodic dysphonia? A dystonia, dystonia of your voice, which simply means a neurological problem, defunct. I call it a bad reflex. Think of it like that, simply, of your voice. Most of you, I assume, joining me here would have been through the diagnostic journey to come to the conclusion that you have SD of some type, A, B, A, D, mixed, and so forth. You've been with your specialists, your speech pathologists, you've done the vocal therapies, the exercises, and so on, the jabs, Botox. Some of you may have had surgery or thinking about it, but... I'm going to challenge you here. I know all of you deep down, you're here because of that reason. Something doesn't fit the picture, the medical model's picture. Something inside you is still not certain about what our medical community, myself included here, is telling you, teaching you, you know, uh, recommending, treating, something is not right. And that's why you're here. And I hope this webinar and the Vocal Freedom Program will give you the answers you need and you're yearning for. SD, SD is not, in my humble opinion, a neurological problem, a dystonia, that's solely about your voice. The source of SD, stuttering, vocal tremors, from my experience and going through the Vocal Freedom Program with hundreds of people and seeing the remarkable changes, listening to their experiences, the source of SD is your emotional brain, the limbic brain. This comment is a bold statement. Most of you will not be accustomed to because of what the medical community, Google and your colleagues and friends and family around you have told you and what you've learned yourself from your own research. It's not a common statement. It's your emotional brain. And this is why treating something like SD is so difficult and you'd all agree 
even those of you who are adamant about the medical model and persistent about the medical model, that's your belief and your journey, there are still no answers. The jury is still out. This condition has been around for nearly 100 years. There are hundreds and hundreds of papers. The literature has studied this, and yet it's still all unknown. The answers of fixing this problem in us as human beings for the longer term is still unknown. Botox and surgery seem to be the best options and speech pathology as well, speech exercises. But why does this problem continue? Why do you have to keep getting Botox every three months and the dosage is changing, usually increasing and ultimately leaving the person with a voice that's worse? That's what my observations have seen. So why is that the emotional brain is the source and the difficulty lies in that everyone's emotional brain is different everyone's emotional history is different and it's unique to your own so this is a bold statement comment and i hope it's ignited something in you i hope it's ignited something familiar in you that you can relate to something that you all go yeah this makes sense because i'm going to say the next thing dystonia of any kind but for the purpose of being here your voice a neurological problem a reflex a bad reflex happens or is created developed grown because of stress. The big S word, stress, keep it simple, and genetic predispositions. We cannot ignore that. From my experience, listening to everyone, genetics do play a role. The creation of these genetic codings to suddenly one day ignite SD in your voice and in your mind and in your body is because of stress. Simply the stress hormones that your body's being fueled by. You can just exemplify this by how SD started in your life. Look at your personal history. At that time in your life, it's without a doubt there were high levels of stress physically and emotionally. Your body was being overwhelmed. And a dystonia of your voice, think of it as your body's natural self-defense that's kicked in, locked in like a bad reflex. When you look at this picture, do you personally feel like this person? Do you understand what she is going through? I wrote the words here, tested. And you're diagnosed, you know exactly what you have going on in your voice, medications, recommendations, or forced to have jabbed by Botox repeatedly for months to, I had a chat with a beautiful lady the other day, and she's been through 40 odd years of Botox, which is just insane. And having conversation with her, she's realized her voice is far worse than it ever was because of all those years of putting toxins in her body. She doesn't know why she did it. She just felt so insecure and self-conscious about her voice that Botox became like a, a drug addiction, um, some relief from the pain. But as is a common story, it kept wearing off faster. The body became accommodated to it. And she had to eventually give it away because it wasn't working for her. It made her feel so much worse emotionally about herself. The fear and anxiety was growing every year. Will this work again for me? Uh, how long will it last? 
will I have to keep spending thousands of dollars? You know, and vocally exercised. So many exercises from speeches to vocal therapists and physiotherapists. And, you know, it, the medical model is right here. And it's very stressful. It's worrying. And a common answer or comment I'm told is I'm just not heard. I never feel like I'm listened to by the medical community. Uh, I'm just immediately recommended this. And I feel like I'm on that hamster wheel. You know, I'm next in line in the conveyor belt. I can't imagine the frustration. This is also what I see in my patients, uh, in my other area of work, which is, you know, long lasting pains and nerve pains and uh, unusual nerve conditions that I treat here in Brisbane, the answers are always the same. It's in my head. You're going to have to live with it. I just feel like I'm the next in line. Just go do this, you know, and that's your option. Thank you very much. Thank you for your money. And I'm asking you this question. How do you feel? Do you feel you are this person living with SD, whether it's been six months or six years or God bless even 60 years. It's, it's a frustrating journey to be on. And my mission is to help you initially to believe that you are capable of becoming better. You are capable yourself to heal this condition, fix this condition, and never suffer SD for the rest of your life. You have the strength and confidence in all of you to be on a new pathway. You don't have to be on this one. So do you feel heard? I'm here, we are here in this program to listen and to guide you. This is what we do. And what we have learned is remarkable. It's, it's just remarkable how the medical model is missing this. It's so clear and evident right in front of us, and yet we miss it. It's too difficult for us as medical professionals to talk about emotions, talk about traumatic pasts with every individual person who comes in the door and is diagnosed with SD. It's too difficult. Here is the easier road. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you very much. We watched the King's speech the other night, and even the King of England, with all his power and resources to the best of the best the medical community can provide all he wished for and really felt for was for someone to just listen to listen to his story his pain his past traumas and understand just understand where he's coming from how he feels living with his voice and he suffered stammer or stuttering at that time. And as the king of England, his empire, who needed so much at that time during the war to listen to him speak, the fear that he had, the anxiety that he stored, the stressed energy that he built up and built up and built up his whole life in his body existed in his voice physically manifested in his voice. And he lived with this since he was five years old when he initially started to stammer. But nobody looked into that. Nobody listened for that. Nobody searched and helped him realize until this unusual character, out of the, out of the box thinker, just said, hey, I'm here. I'm here to listen. I understand. Tell me your story. Talk to me like a friend. And what do you know? The voice is beautiful. So are you this person? Have I touched a nerve? I hope I have because this is my purpose in this presentation is to help you find 
your path to healing your voice. SD is not a neurological problem that's incurable. And you do have the ability within yourself to do it. At least come and join us on our Facebook group page at Vocal Freedom Program. It's a growing community now. Thank you to everyone who's challenged themselves to think outside the box and have joined and listened and communicated and contributed to uh, the various posts and videos we've done. I put up a lot of helpful information here, a lot of tips and interviews to help you understand your voice, understand your mind better. Most importantly, simply understand your body and your mind simply because this is the key to healing. So please feel free to join us. I look forward to seeing you there. Ask your questions. Let me know how you feel. We're here to listen and let's heal together. All right, I'm going to say it. Dystonia of your voice, a neurological problem in your voice. Can you believe, I challenge you, can you believe or will you believe that having better emotional control, releasing stress from your body fixes your voice? The success of our program is simply because I listened to thousands of people suffering all types of neurological problems who were told by the medical community, which I'm also a part of, but I tried my hardest to learn from the patients rather than so much the literature, especially with a condition that is unusual, unknown, that is chronic, that is medically otherwise all clear, structurally, anatomically, everything is beautiful, which is, by the way, what SD is, the vocal nerves, the vocal folds, the brain, everything is in good, healthy condition. And yet this spasming occurs in your voice. It just doesn't make any sense. Is it all in our head? And listening to these people who I admire because they're fighters. They're all fighters. They are living with these problems. I designed a program from what I learned by listening. And so far, based on 100 people going through the program, our data is showing over 90% success. And what success is, is number one, people feeling confident, feeling confident in their voice to speak in places at times with people that would normally frighten them. And two, their voice performing at least 90% better than before joining the program. This is what we're rating success on. Why am I doing this? Why are we doing this in the Vocal Freedom Program? Because we believe SD is not an incurable condition. It can be healed holistically. And that's the key word. We must target or you must target your body holistically from every angle, emotionally and physically. Because it's not just the medical model of Botox and surgery that will heal this problem that will fix this problem. You must go beyond. Correcting the stress in your body is number one. This we found from listening to all our patients who have gone through the program and currently going through is number one to fix your voice. This is what our patients have truly felt all the time going through their personal diagnostic process and treatments and vocal exercises, deep down, this is what they truly felt and believed, that the stress and anxiety, the uncertainty, the worries, the past traumas, I've lived with anxiety my whole life. I've lived with social anxiety even before my voice developed SD. These comments, these feelings, this is the key. So I designed a weekly structured and guided program with video tutorials that will help you eliminate SD from your system by guiding you into developing 
better or healthier habits I'll talk about soon in your life. The purpose and the mission is to regain your confidence. Regain your confidence in yourself, not just your voice, in yourself. Love the person inside you. Release the stress, the stressed energy, as we're calling it in the program, that's been growing inside you or built up inside you, programmed inside you for many years. Gently release this every day as part of your new habits and be fearless in conversations. This is the purpose. I want to share with you here the parasympathetic nervous system, the parasympathetic. So you have the sympathetic nervous system. You're all aware that's the stress, the fight, flight, the parasympathetic, the vagus nerve. There it is. The vagus nerve. I'm sure you're all aware of the vagus nerve, the almighty. She is the queen of the parasympathetic nervous system, as all great scientists will tell you. The vagus nerve comes out of the midbrain as part of your cranial nervous system. So it sits in the midbrain. It comes out. Your voice is innovated. They don't put the voice in a lot of anatomical pictures. Fascinating. But I'm going to put it right there. Your voice is one of the most important organs, in my opinion. But look at all the other organs. And it's not uncommon to hear gut problems, autonomic problems, you know, musculoskeletal problems, emotional problems, other diseases that are associated with SD. The vagus nerve encompasses all. It encompasses all. I love this picture. It really simplifies the vagus nerve nicely because it is such a complex and wandering, beautiful nerve of love the emotional nerve but i love this picture it really simplifies everything so therefore the key is to unlock and release this nerve which means you must release the parasympathetics power in your body this is what you must release it's amazing healing power because currently living with sd or any long-lasting dysfunctions in your body other dystonias around your body I personally had a dystonia of my right hand many years ago, which I healed with the method that I designed in the Vocal Freedom Program. Currently, the parasympathetic nervous system is in an unhappy locked state. It's holding your body down. It's holding your voice down as a defensive mechanism because of stress. I mentioned earlier, the stress hormones that are on this automated process in your body, the stress hormones that are just being pumped automatically your body is addicted. It loves the stress hormones, strangely. And it's the sympathetic nervous system alertness is high. Just think about having a conversation on the phone. What does it do to your body and your mind immediately? How do you feel? This is the sympathetic nervous system, the stress system being on high alert. And this is why the parasympathetics are trying to suppress it's holding your body in a safe place because it senses that your stress hormones are too high. The parasympathetics is trying to protect you. So therefore it has this reflexive hold. So that is why the key to healing and fixing SD for the longer term is looking after or nurturing the parasympathetic nervous system. You will always hear me saying, Vagal tones, the vagus nerve, vagal tones, the vagus nerve, heal, release, look after the vagus nerve, increase vagal tones in your body. So the body's natural self-defense mechanism, this default, as I mentioned, this hold down lock state originates in your vagus nerve. From now over 80,000 patients, your vagus nerve is over 95% emotional without a doubt. You developed SD because your vagus nerve said, okay, Susan, Rob, Andy, Claire, Lisa, Laura, you're stressing me too much. The body is relying on stress hormones too much. You are 
burning candles at both ends. You're not sleeping enough. You're not putting good food in your body. You're not giving me the right nutrition. You're overworking yourself. You're too worried. You're too scared. You're pushing the system too hard. Boiling point of physical and emotional levels. It all combined to that point in your life, that time in your life when SD set in. You can all relate to this, regardless of which way you believe. When you developed SD, your body and your mind, physically and emotionally, was on edge. Your relationships at home, work, your career expectations, expectations personally, then you got sick, you had an infection in your chest, you're not sleeping again, you have problems with your kids, marital problems, the list can go on. You have your own personal story, but your vagus nerve said, stop. That's enough. So therefore, it triggered your body's natural self-defense mechanism because the sympathetic nervous system was just pumping too hard. The stress hormones were raging too hard and perhaps still is today in your body because of your lifestyle and situations in your life. Your brain unlocked the coding for SD. It chose your voice. Why your voice compared to someone down the road, a friend, a colleague, someone you know, who didn't develop SD, but went through similar stresses, similar traumas like you, but they didn't develop SD and you did. Why is that? Genetic coding plays a significant role here, in my opinion. Therefore, simply, this is how I like you to think about SD. It's an automated stress response. Your voice spasming is simply the physical output. It's a bad reflex. Like when you kick your knee, your knee jerks. Like a reflex in your nervous system, this is what SD is. When your mind is stressed, when your body is stressed, when you're nutritionally stressed, when you're energetically stressed, your voice suffers, your voice spasms. So how do we fix it? Firstly, we help you become aware, gently aware of your past traumas, negative experiences more specifically. Positive ones are great, but that's another part of the program where we help you work on your new habits. We remember vividly, you can all agree, the more traumatic memories, the more painful memories. You can remember the smells, the feelings, the sounds, everything more clearly because of the negative feelings. And this is what our limbic brain loves to do. I always say, it just loves to do that. Its number one role in your body is to preserve you from further stress, pain, death, is to preserve you and keep you conserved. So that's why you remember negative past traumas more clearly and they stay in your system, it feels. It harbors into your nervous system and it grows and it manifests the more we think about it and the more we bring up the feelings. It's all about the feeling of the negative past memories, the programming, as I say in the program, the negative past programming. It's built up a lot of negative pressure in your body over the years to one day develop SD. So we help you lean in to the past again. Get behind your ego, your intellect that's masking and protecting the true scared inner self. We go back and help you accept. That's the most important word. Accept. Say, aha, uh -huh. I get it. I accept and I love you. Hold that person's hand again. Give that person a hug. And let's heal together. What this simply means is you've reached or developed a new level of intelligence. When you accept the past pains, you are a new level of confidence because you don't fear that inner scared person anymore. This is a milestone achievement, everyone. I can't harp on this enough. This is so great. 
And from this positive place of new strength, you develop a platform where you can grow new neural pathways as all great neuroplasticity scientists and authors talk about definitely in the last 10 years, like Dr. Daniel Amen, Norman Doidge, Joe Dispenza's, Phil McKernan's, Tony Robbins, new neural pathways that overwhelm and override the old negative painful ones. And through new habits, you're achieving this, you're doing this, which we're going to guide you through and help you ingrain them into your life every day because it's easy and it feels wonderful. Your vagus nerve in that process releases. It releases stressed energy from your body. And then you're growing more new neural pathway saying you do not have SD, your voice is beautiful, you are beautiful, you are confident, you are strong, and you are fearless. Neurogenesis. I love this word. We guide you through six new habits. We help implement them into your lives easily with a lot of great feelings because that's the key, feelings. When you feel, you remember. As I mentioned, Why do you remember your past painful memories more significantly? It's because you felt, you felt it. If you can walk away from this webinar, just remembering that, that would be great. When you feel, you remember. So therefore the new habits, the six new habits that we are going to guide you through and help implement into your lives, helps you feel positive strength and confidence. Feel positive strength and confidence in yourself first. Your voice is just the icing on the cake, as I always say. These six habits are your tools or your weapons against the dark force for those Star Wars fans. The dark force, the negative mindset, the anxiety that you've suffered for most of your life, the depression that you've suffered. These habits give you your strength. They are your superpowers to take control of your mind, your body, and your voice in a positive way forever. And this is why the Vocal Freedom Program is creating remarkable, miraculous changes in people's lives and voices because they are taking control again of their fears. We all know as human beings, we hate losing control. Control is something that gives us security and safety. Our limbic brains love it. So the techniques we use to help you achieve this are breath work, cold showers and therapies. Amazing how that helps your parasympathetic vagal tones. Fast acting visualization and meditation techniques. Fast acting in that you can do it every day quickly and effectively. It gives you great positive feelings immediately. And this is the key to helping you do the habits. And we do things again only when it feels good, right? So fast acting, positive reinforcement, release of positive hormones immediately. Thank you very much. We'll keep doing that. And physical exercises that are designed and will give you to help move your body to promote vagal tones, release your vagus nerve for healthier hormones. We don't want to overstimulate the stress hormones. Don't get me wrong. Stress hormones are very important for you and your body. But that's not the focus. The focus is on the parasympathetic, vagus nerve, vagal tones, healthy hormones, happy hormones. And this in turn will help your voice improve, which ultimately means not fearing yourself anymore, changing all those expectations around you, your voice, the people around you in your personal life and in your career, longevity good health, quality of life. This is what I personally am all about for all my patients. I can't stress, to give the pun, this enough, but imagine just not having to live with that constant level of stress that's automated in your body, that autopilot, always worrying, always stressed, not having to do that any longer, letting go of all that. You can definitely let go of that, in my opinion but have control in a way that gives you good, healthy hormones more consistently, that releases healthy hormones more consistently and helps you feel better. Your body energetically, characteristically, 
doing and feeling better. And all it takes is practice, just one to two percent of your day. That's it. That's it. My thinking, my approach is keep it simple, make it easy, lower the harsh expectations, which ultimately reduces pressure on yourself, make it stressless, enjoy the process, see the change see the transformation happening naturally, that time be a friend. We are absolutely loving watching our members currently transforming themselves gently and slowly and loving the process. Just watch your remarkable bodies and brains bring out this new identity in you without SD, a stronger, more confident, stable, secure, joyful person fearless to have conversations. Can you imagine? A little bit of practice every day. That's how you became an amazing guitarist or a sportsman. You practice your habits a little bit every day. You'll have some disappointments. You'll have failure days, but that doesn't matter because the happy hormones are continuously being produced. Therefore, you'll come back the next day for more. I always refer back to that golf shot or that tennis shot. Oh, it was a horrible game or a poor training session, but that one or two shots that oh made me feel so good, I'm coming back for more. You've got to think of it like that. Dopamine, happy hormones. All it takes is practice. All right, the Vocal Freedom Program is 16 weeks. 16 weeks where every week we send you an email with your tasks and information to learn, practice, it's that simple. You get an extra two months when the 16-week process is finished to go back and revise, take your time. Some people have requested longer time because just lifestyle situations, they needed more time, no problems. The goal is for you to really ingrain those six new habits into your lives and feel good with it. See the transformation happening in your bodies and your voice. Just enjoy and grow confidence in yourself practicing the habits. When you leave the Vocal Freedom Program, my hope is that you have these tools for the rest of your life to enjoy. Why stop when you're having a great time? All right, we've made it to the end. Thank you very much for staying with me. Website, vocalfreedomprogram.com. We're on Instagram, Facebook mainly, and YouTube as well, but Facebook is the number one. As I mentioned earlier, please join us on our open group page. It's growing every week. Thank you to everyone joining. What a wonderful group of people we have there, all in the same mindset to grow and heal together at Vocal Freedom Program. I'll put a link below this webinar for more information. So please click on that. But these are the social handles. Please join. I look forward to seeing you there. Of course, I would love for you to become a Vocal Freedom Program member. When you become a member, you also have access to our private special family group on Facebook, where I personally get more involved with you in your journey of healing and transformation. Yes, transformation by practicing your habits. We have very intimate conversations, a lot of laughs, a lot of tears, a lot of revelations, wonderful breakthrough moments. We have unbelievable conversations. It really is lovely. We all support each other. We motivate each other. Everyone has the same goal. They're enjoying the journey together. It really is lovely. So please come and join the Vocal Freedom Program and be part of this group. A lot of people who are finishing the Vocal Freedom Program or who have finished want to stay on simply based on this group. They love being part of this group so much and the community that we have there, they don't want to leave. So it's that great. So please, I look forward to seeing you there. Now the pricing to finish off, this is in Australian dollars or there's another option of paying four monthly at $187 a month. Equivalent to US dollars, it's around high 300 USD 400, low 400s, depending on the uh, exchange rate. In euro, it's similar, most likely a little less. So All right. I'd just like to share with you a few testimonies of people who have been through the program. This is lovely Emily and Manny. 
who's in the Philippines. Emily is here in Australia. And uh, this is their adductor type SD that they were struggling with prior to the program. So let's have a listen to their voices. So this is the adductor, the spasming compression constriction type SD voice. My voice growing stronger, clearer, and more confident every day. So you can hear Manny's voice there, and this is Emily's. Dim Emily, yeah, um, is right. Maybe you just say, um, I've been practicing a lot, and I am already feeling really positive, and I, I can do this, and... So you can hear in their voices the constriction, the involuntary spasms that are compressing their voice. You have the AB doctor as well, which is the breathier version and the mixed version as well. So now we'll go on to their voices after the program. You see the change, the transformation that's happened in the person, most importantly. And of course, have a listen to their voices. You know, someone would be calling and then I would just ignore the call or make an excuse because I, yeah. you know, yeah, I feel like, you know, I'm continuing to think about the new identity that I want to, you know, be, you know, I feel like I'm feeling it now. My voice is growing stronger, clearer, and more confident. My positive energy without SD is inspiring. I'll pause it there. So, you can just hear the incredible changes that are happening in Emily and Manny. It gives me goosebumps every time I listen to that. And uh, having had conversations after the program as well, they're just really enjoying their lives because the stress is less. They're less worried about their voice. They're less worried about what the future may bring. And for me, that's the most important thing. Uh, your voice is just the icing on the cake. I'm so proud of everyone who's joined the program and are currently going through the challenges that they're facing head on and becoming fearless through. It's just amazing. It's inspiring. And this is what motivates me to keep going and doing the best I can to help you in your personal journey to freeing your voice. I'm so excited about what this program is doing, the remarkable changes in people's lives, the transformations from the old self to their new identity. Why stop when you're having such a good time, you're feeling healthy, your quality of life is better, and most importantly, your voice is freeing every day. The more you practice the new habits, they are your tools, they are your superpower in your life against all the stresses that life may bring. Everyone, thank you for joining me here. Please click on the link below for more information. I look forward to doing more webinars coming up on various topics to help you find your path to healing your voice. Take care. Speak to you all again very soon. <music>